Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Lori. Welcome to the Pink Girly channel. And tonight, I need to get some Grinches started. So I'll be painting Grinches, light bulb ornament Grinches. And I started off this evening by sorting through my socks. So I'm just going to continue doing that while folks come in. Let's see what I have here. I didn't dig out my uh, fluffy stuff, like my bow of feathers and things like that. I didn't dig that out. I've got to remember where I put those. But my hubby's going out. So when he comes in to say toodaloo, I'm going to have him get... Uh, Oh, I didn't want this one. My uh, little goodie. No, get out of town. Am I seeing things? Is that my sweet little Lori love bug? Hi, Lori. How are you, my dear? I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying your retirement. <laughs> it's so very nice to see you. Hi, Kathy. Well, the one thing about good about sorting these socks is that I didn't have to launder them. Now, you might say, what are you doing with all those socks? Okay, thread and glue and designs. Now, don't tell me. I have to remember your name. Kristen? Is it Kristen? Oh, Steffi. Somebody gave it away. Steffi. Kristen's got a long name, too. Hi, Steffi. I know you from Xena's, right? It's me. Lori says, I'm well. I lurk a lot. It's nice to see you as well, young lady. Oh, she's making me blush. So I'm going through and looking at what I have here, just so I can kind of get it in my brain. I use socks to dress my light bulbs. I haven't made any in a while, I have to say, but someone called and they, it wasn't last year, it was the year before, um, I had some of my bulbs in a garden center not too far from us, and out of the blue she called and would like to have some. They have a, oh, I guess they sell Christmas trees and a lot of different ornaments. Hi, Barbara. And, um. They have one whole area that's all Grinch stuff. So she called and asked me for some Grinch bulbs. So I should have said no, but I'm a soft touch. I said yes. So I'm getting some socks together. I don't know how much I'll get accomplished because I was up late last evening or early Beth and Becca had me up late and Teresa and I didn't get a nap because I got all engrossed in watching Janet Young draw and paint her gnomes my gosh they were so stinking cute all right so ideally between what the garden center wants and my sister needs some. I probably need to make around maybe 40 or so Grinches. Now, my husband doesn't have them all sprayed. The base coat <clears throat> sprayed on them yet. But I think I've got about a dozen here that I can start on. And some of the decorating I like to do. So my warm-up tonight is going to be to get some of this... Um, fabric pre prepared to decorate some of the hats because these are popular too for a couple of our sports teams here in the Philadelphia area. Oh no, who's sick now? Don't tell me. Is Emerson still sick? Hi, Shannon. I miss it. Emerson. Oh my gosh, she still has a fever? Oh, the poor kid. Oh, my goodness. That's been hanging on a while. Your daughter's team? 
the Eagles or the Flyers? Hi, Angie. All right, I need to get a soft brush here. And what I what I like to do is take this fabric and just put a little uh, the flyers, golden matte medium on it. Let it dry. I do that for two reasons. Um, well, not really two reasons. I do it for one reason, I guess. I could cut them out like this and just stick it on the hat. But if I do this first and it stiffens up the fabric, it's so much easier for me to cut it. Oops, I didn't put my little plastic protection. You're sneezing your head off. God bless you, Ange. So I'm going to do that first. I just have an old, um, like one of these plastic bags. You know, they would get like paper in or something. More socks. So uh, while folks are starting to filter in, I'm going to just paint this. Hi, Nettie. And some of them are probably, see, like some of these words are too big, but see this one here, this one will be a good size. And I might need some words. I just don't know. When I was really um, painting a lot of bulbs, I had this all pre-done and would have a stack of them ready. So then when I'm ready to decorate my Grinches, you know, I could just do it. My Phillies um, fabric is really kind of too big because I just paint on a regular incandescent light bulb. So they're not real big. So I hope everyone's well, except our poor little Emerson. What do the doctors say, um, Cassie? I know you said she would, they put her on steroids. Gosh, that usually knocks, knocks whatever you got going on out pretty well. Uh, I guess that's respiratory virus and the flu. Oh, dear Lord. Uh. That's terrible. Poor little thing. Oh, I hate it, hate it when the little ones are sick. Right? It's bad enough when the us older folk get it, but I hate when the kids get it. Okay, so Barbara is checking with Shannon on her streaming schedule. Doing, she's going to be doing card videos. Okay, that's good. I might need a couple of eagles here. Let's some of those words. So I'm just painting on some. Golden matte medium, which will stiffen the fabric and make it a lot easier for me to fussy cut. And since the Eagles are having a good season, I don't even know about the Flyers to tell you the truth, what kind of season they're having. Oh, <laughs> she gets a second wind and then she crashes, huh? Needs to take a rest. Oh, 
I hope it works out of our system quickly. Hi, Candy. It's nice to see you. So what's everybody up to? It's Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Can't you a Sunday? I was going to get out here in my room a lot sooner than I did. I'm fussing around with stuff in my comfy chair. We were hoping my husband's computer would arrive today. It had to be repaired. And of course, it's one of those got to send it away deals. So we've been watching uh, the tracking like crazy people. And then earlier today, I was at um, Janet Young's and I saw the UPS truck coming and he put this box up on his dashboard. I thought, oh, that's the computer. I never thought to ask my husband how it was, you know, how it was being delivered. So I'm trying to get my carcass up out of the chair. didn't realize my phone dropped onto the keyboard and I'm typing the number seven and who knows what else into chat. They were all thinking I fell asleep. Oh, I must struggle, 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 struggle. Okay, so I'm going to put these aside. And I don't know if I'll get to these this evening. But at least they're all painted with some matte medium. Let me see if I can get my matte medium back up here without doing any more damage. Oh, I stole its spot. Oh, I don't like when I do that. I need to get it to go back in its spot. Because if I don't, then no nothing else. Oh, I hit the camera again. Then nothing's going to fit. I almost forgot to do the bot thing last minute. I remembered to do the bot thing. So I got that done. Whew. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get started. Now I'm just going to work away at these because I need to get them done and I need to get them started. Hi, Pam. So I generally have, I have little, um, Oh, marking it, marking my YouTube channel, doing a customization so that only subscribers can um, come in and chat. You have to be a subscriber for at least five minutes. And um, I just find it very upsetting when those bots come in with those terrible messages. So uh, that's what I decided to do. I have little rings that I use to sit my bulbs in while I'm working on them. And uh, I don't know where they are. I know, shocking, right? So I'm just going to pull out some washi tape. And I'm going to use those to sit my little bulbs on. So that when they're drying... Yeah, I saw I saw the moose video, but I didn't watch it. Okay, I missed something about trials of the century. Dun dun dun. I know, Pam, and it's just, it's so easy. I was just being very sick about it. I didn't think I could go in and, and have access to YouTube until after, you know, the stream was over and it populated. But that was incorrect. Okay, so this is just your regular incandescent light bulb. And... 
we clean them. We, I should, I, I can't say we. My husband cleans them. And then he base coat sprays them for me. And the Grinches, we do this green color. It's really kind of a perfect Grinch color. And then when I'm making other ones, mostly uh, I spray them white because I can't really get in the spray paint a really nice flesh color that I'm happy with. So at least with the uh, white, if I want to do skin tone or whatever, you know, I can paint other coats on top. But ideally, Um, when I first started to paint on light bulbs, um, gosh, I should have pulled out a couple that were finished so I could show some of you. Like I did this one and just kept it for my art room. It's all nicked up now. I've had this for years. And I think I have my, uh, yeah, I have my, I know he's Baby Yoda. He's not Baby Yoda anymore. He's got a name. I kept him for myself too. Got a little bit of a glare. Um, when I first started to do them, I hand painted whatever undercoat I wanted. Uh, but then when I would go to put the second coat on, it kind of, it was really, really fiddly. And I had to um, really be careful and the paint would peel itself back off and so my husband suggested that we try the base coat with the spray um, spray paint. Thank you, Pam. Grogu. Grogu. And um, so Stuffy's making a ham. And so now that's what we do. And sometimes, you know, he doesn't get them so great, like they drip and they run. But I try to pick a good spot on the bulb where I can get a face because I'm going to put a hat on. So I'm just going to paint some of these up. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any for a, quite some time. So we'll just see how it goes. So we'll take all these little fellas out. And so I'm going to need a bright yellow. Now the yellow is really hard to um, good, get a good coat. So I usually have to do two or three coats. So let's see, this looks like a good yellow. I'm gonna use cadmium yellow for his eyes. And let's see, I put a picture in my, well, I'm not going to make that guy. Where's my picture? I've done this version of the Grinch before, but those, those eyes are a pain to make. I guess I could make those. I want to make them all the same. It's just easier. It's just easier. I thought I sent myself a picture. Yeah, here's one of mine. I'm going to make this this version tonight. So I really just need the yellow, black, and a little bit of white. So if you have any questions, put them in caps for me. It's easier for me to see if somebody's asking a question and I'm going to try not to be too terribly fiddly with the um, with all this nonsense here okay so I'm going to need a brush for the yellow Angie said I got to make a birthday card and I don't know what to put on the front of it well who's the birthday card <clears throat> oh, you do, Steffi? Who's the birthday card for, Ange? And I'll get my liner brush out. And we'll go from there. I usually put my nose on first because 
I kind of use it as a uh, starting place and then know where to put my eyeballs. Your son got the Grinch last year, Laura. <laughs> hi, Ange. I thought I did say hi, but maybe you didn't hear me. Uh, okay, so I'm putting out a little bit of black. And I just have some apple barrel black that I'm trying to use up. It's really not one of my preferences, but that's what I have. And that's what I'm going to go with. And I really am just going to work on these ladies because I got to get them started. And so I thought if I did them during the stream, I could get them done. And I need some paper toweling, so I'm going to use some of my napkin backs that I still have sitting here. And if anybody sees Kimberly Ray come in, I need Kimberly's address. I checked the other day, but I don't think she sent it to me yet. All right, so I always, when I paint like this, I always want to wet my brush first. And if anybody's interested, I've got some other bulbs over there painted. I could do something else. Um, I mean, maybe I should take my bracelet off. I can do something else, um, like a snowman or something, if anybody wants. And I'm going to pull my camera down just a little bit. If that's too close, please let me know. All right, so I want to get some of these ready. So I can just set these guys up. Okay, and we're off. Maybe I need a small... Oh, let me see how this brush works. That paint's really thick. So for the nose, I'm just going to make a little half moon. And what I, it's not even like a half, well, I guess it, like a half circle, not really a half moon. And uh, hi, Janice. Oh my gosh, Janice, that is so cute. And she's looking for an idea. No, the bulbs really don't um, break very easily. Wait a minute, Steffi. Let me um, let me read here what Jana says. Card ideas for Angie. Picture of a dog digging a hole in the yard. The inside of the card says, every year you aren't buried in the yard. It's a good year. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, they're really not because, they, I mean, they're pretty durable anyway. I think I've been painting these for, gosh, at least five or six years or more i've only broken one and uh, i've dropped them but aside from the fact that they some of them have several coats of paint on them you know uh, they're really kind of durable now i wouldn't let a kid play with them you know what i'm saying so i mean you do have to take some care But they're they're more durable than you think. And this finish of um, paint is like a semi gloss. I mean, they're really quite shiny. But I put a I put a finishing coat, a sealer on them, too. And. Um, So they're going to be shiny in most cases anyway. But sometimes it's hard to get the paint to really adhere well. And this black paint's not 
not going on as nice as the uh, as the other brand. But we might just have to do a second coat. I have an itchy eye today. Itchy eye, itchy, itchy, itchy. And I don't worry too much about this part on most of the bulbs. Some of the bulbs I do, that shows, but on most of the ones I do, it's covered with some kind of a hat. What brand of paint? I like the Deco Art uh, Ceram coat and um, the uh, Folk Art. This is Apple Barrel. I think somebody I bought some a lot of paint or somebody gave me some stuff they were getting rid of. Sometimes I knock them. I have them all sitting here in a row like little soldiers and then I knock them. And they go down like dominoes. Dominoes. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm out of frame. I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing. I have some really cool bulbs. I think I've told this story before. Gosh, it never fails. As soon as I come out and stream, my husband gets in the kitchen. I know you guys probably can't hear it, but he makes so much noise. He makes so much noise. See, now like this one, he didn't spray it real well. But see, I'll cover that with the hat. He's, he'll get a hat. I'm doing it again. I gotta move my camera. Hopefully you won't see my you know my girls. I hate looking back and seeing that my girls have popped onto the screen. I didn't like it. <clears throat> anyway, I was coming home. And uh, there was this, this one place that I pass on 206. It's a large road near our house. And um, they had a bunch of stuff sitting out. And it's the big sign that said free. No, I I'm just too nosy about things like that. So I stopped. And it was all these light bulbs. But they're, they're shaped like this. But they're old. They're older. They're, light, they're clear. And you can see the filament. So I have a big box of those. This is not the best brush for this either. I'm still out of frame. Holy Maloney. Or your Nick. <laughs> Shanna, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to paint. What is Lori saying? She's been lurking. She's had the virus. It's still after. Her. Oh, you do? I had a headache for at least two weeks. But after that, it was, it was okay. My husband really didn't have it bad at all. He just had a couple of days of feel, feeling like he had the flu, really. And I didn't, I didn't even have a fever. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so I scored and got a lot of the really cool light bulbs, but see, I don't want to, I don't want to um, cover those with paint. So, 
Uh, one gal that I used to be in the, in the co-op with, she's also a painter. She does awesome stuff. And she had given me a huge see-through light bulb. I mean, it was probably 12 inches tall and probably about that big around. I told her I couldn't take it. She said, no, take it. I've had it for years. I'm never going to use it. So what I decided to do was she has, I think, if I remember correctly, it's been some years now. She has seven grandchildren. So I painted a snow scene on the bulb and did seven snow people to, um, you know, look like her grands. And I just gave it back to her painted. Turned out cute. Did I take a picture? No. That would have been too intelligent. I have no idea what he's doing in the kitchen. He's supposed to be going out in 15 minutes. I don't know. Okay, let's see. So the other birds have discovered the food I put out for the bluebirds. And oh my gosh, you should have seen the mess. They knocked the one bird feeder totally off the hook off the hook so i didn't put any out today because they were on my last nerve on my last nerve Yeah, I haven't seen the squirrels. We've got it up on, on a skinny pole. I don't I think they would have a hard time. And it's like in the middle middle of a, a little garden where there's no trees or anything, you know, that they could really get up on it. Um but oh my gosh. I thought all the other people, all the other birds would have headed south. I don't know what kind they were. They weren't crackles because they weren't that big, but man, it was a lot of them. I'm still off screen. Let's see, that's when the, I have to lean forward. I just always have to make sure I'm not sticking my finger in paint and then putting it someplace where I don't want it. When I was doing the Harry Potters, I did that. And I had to keep increasing Harry Potter's hairline. Okay. All right, so I've got my yellow out. I'm not liking that brush, so I think I want to see if I can find a brush that might be a little better for me. It's not not like I don't. There go the girls lean. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Oh, good grief. Oh, this guy looks good. Let's try this little guy. Let's try this little. Let's try this little guy. So now from here, I'm just going to make try to make two teardrop type shapes. One on each side of the nose. And I'm going to try to get them as even as I can. And it's usually better for me if I go upside down and I'm trying to get a smooth coverage which isn't easy I have to say the snowmen I make are so much easier so much easier
So that's coat one. You know I'm going to knock these bulbs. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Gross beaks, huh? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Okay. This is not working. I need to move some of these guys so I can get in here so you can see what I'm doing. It's bad enough that I'm doing all these. Oh, goodness. See, there goes one. Oh, what you have, Ange? I've never been to a... Well, that's not true. I was to a Mexican rest, restaurant just once. And I think I just got nachos because I was afeard. I was afeard to try anything else. And they don't have to be perfect. I'm telling you. See, the, the problem with most of us is we have that artistic eye, you know, and so we see every, um, everything that's wrong. Gosh, hon, you're noisy. I hope the tuna. You got it? Thanks, hon. Have fun. Okay. He's going to go play some card game over at the clubhouse. Whisk, I think they call it. Um, what I was going to say was that a lot of us are so hard on ourselves because we have that artistic eye. And, you know, I'll look at, I'll look, okay, so the lady that used to do the light bulbs before I did them at the, at the shop, they were, they were okay. You know, people bought them. They thought they were wonderful. But my art friends and all, they just all thought they were just okay. And I'm not saying mine are perfect. I mean, some of mine are pretty cute, but these Grinches are not ones that are, you know, all that. But the customers, they couldn't tell a difference. They couldn't tell a difference. They wouldn't be able to tell you if I do one, or she did one, or my grandmother did one. As long as it it resembled what it was supposed to be, the customers are happy. So don't think you can't do this. I mean, just like Janet was saying when she was doing those gnomes today. My gosh, they were so stinking cute. They're all just basic shapes. The gnome is just really basic shape with a big nose. You can do it. Oh, it, ne it never fails. He's going to be, that's our, that's our son. Of course, my husband just left. Let me just message him. He, um, does not remember mom's. Um, schedule. Now my cell phone's gonna gonna ring if I don't message him right away. Sorry. He 
He just started a new job, so he probably wants to talk about the new job. So what's everybody up to? We're going to go to um, our daughters for brunch on Thursday morning. And then my sister, my one sister lives about five minutes from my daughter. So we're going to go there for dinner. Now see, look how wacko that eye is. See, at that one I have to take off. But because I have the um, glossy paint underneath, I'm just going to take a baby wipe that should just wipe right off. What you have, Ange? Did you put in what you had? I missed it. Bean and cheese dip. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. We have um, Taco Bell. It's, it's a little distance from us, but I used to always go to Taco Bell in Pennsylvania. And I know that's not really authentic Mexican food, but I like it. And they took away the taco salad, which is really a bummer. But I like their pintos and cheese. I'm just not... Um, I don't like too many spicy. I don't know that I could do real spicy. I like shrimp. I don't know if I would like a shrimp fajita. Okay. Did anybody hear how Mary made out today? She was going to have her cataract surgery, I believe, today. Your husband gets the steak fajitas. What's that, just like meat and vegetables and like some kind of a wrap? <laughs> Not that kind of a wrap. Well, be careful and pack emergency chocolate wafers and blankets, Lori. <laughs> Why? Is it going to be lovely told? Oh, you're talking to Lori Love. We have a store in our area called Big Lots, and I had ordered some stuff to put together little art backpacks for my grands. Mary just texted me, so I don't think she's had surgery today. She was scheduled for today. And um, three or four items, they didn't have enough. I mean, when I ordered it online, it said they had the inventory. But I guess when push came to shove, they didn't. So I'm a little bummed about that. So now I have to see what else I can get. I might have to take a ride over to Joanne's. She was at least as eclectic life this afternoon, so must not have. I don't know. She was saying something about Tuesday. I mean, really, once you have the surgery, I mean, there's no reason why you can't be at somebody's stream. I mean, my neighbor was fine. My mom was fine. We just had to put the drops in. I don't even know if I don't even know if my neighbor had a patch. I don't know if my mom did either. I 
So now I'm going to go back and now doing the second coat is a lot easier. And I usually do everything all at once, like all the yellows. Yeah, right. You know, they send you home with sunglasses. And um, gosh, I don't know. My mom's was a while ago, so I really don't remember hers. My neighbor's was just a couple of years ago. And, um, I don't know, she just had to do the drops. So I usually do all the yellow, all the eyes, all the noses at one time because, like, say you wanted to do these for your family. Well, doing them at one at a time, it just takes you forever. Okay. And even to do all the noses, you know, if, we, if I do the nose, then do the eyes, I have to keep rinsing out my brush. I know it sounds silly, but you can go a lot quicker if you do all of the same thing on each item. This is how I used to do my ceramics. I would set up like, um, you know, 20 ducks. And base coat them all. And then I would put, you know, put the whites of the eyes in. And then I would put the pupils in. And it just seemed to go a lot faster to me. But you got to find your own groove. You've got to find your own groove. No Taco Bell is more Tex Max, right, Candy? Made up of American. Yeah, I guess. You see, I'm not really an expert on Mexican, so I couldn't tell you. That's about as Mexican as I get. I might have told you about the story that Holly Dalton wanted me to try. Um, oh, what the heck are they called? She eats, she would eat Hormel ones in a can, tamales. She couldn't believe I never had a tamale. So I was in a five below, I think, and they had this, the Hormel tamales like Holly ate. So I bought a can. Oh, dear Lord. And I did a Snapchat video. <sighs> the only thing with Snapchat is you can't do very long videos, so I had to do a series. Well, that's what they say about Chinese food too, right? If you go to China, you're not you're not going to eat food like you do at the Chinese restaurant at the corner. You're just not. It's going to be different. That sounds good, Candy. I would like to try a tamale from a Mexican restaurant. But those Hormel things, they were... They really didn't have any flavor. They looked hideous. Okay, I'm sorry. They look like an umbilical cord. That's exactly what they look like. An umbilical cord. I still have my videos, I have to say. My mother says I missed my calling. I should have went to Hollywood. Oh, look. See what I did? Look. We got a little eyeball up here on our forehead. That is not good. You just have to be careful. Like if you're going to wipe something off, you don't want to wipe too hard because you don't want to scratch down in. 
When I'm sick, you all can't run me off. Who's trying to run you off? Nobody's trying to run you off. Uh, Janice said, I think Popo loves orange can tamales. She and Rosemary have a run. Oh, my goodness. Really? Oh, my gosh. If I, I should send her my my uh, videos about the tamale. Now, if you're not familiar with Snapchat, you can pick out different filters, you know, and then it makes your voice sound funny. Plus, you know, I do an accent or whatever. All right, I'm going to go to the nose. Now, when I do the nose, Get back to my picture here. Oh, we didn't see. It didn't keep it in the the right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the wrong spot here. Yeah. Uh, I sent it to myself. I don't usually. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to draw as straight as a line as I can. And then I'm going to make a big smile. And then I'm going to do a second coat on my nose. So I'm going to use my liner brush. And what I'm going to do with my paint is when I load my brush, there's a, you know, I put water in there and I'm going to drag and pull my brush so it's a nice little kind of a point and i'm just going to come down and then i'm going to go out wide this way and then i'm going to come up this way And I'm just going to give them a couple little things there. And then I'm going to put another coat on his nose. And the eye is outlined. So I'm going to do that. Man, I got something in my left eye. I absolutely cannot get rid of it. Hmm. So you got to watch where that dries pretty fast, but you just got to watch. This paint is really thick. And then I want to pull in some eyelashes. Ah. A lot of times I put um, so much water in my brush and then it drips. It doesn't take much for him to start looking pretty, pretty cool.
Oh, that sounds good. Candy, do you put any kind of spices in the meat? Candy's talking about filling, like, almost, is it like a meat pie kind of a thing? Janet talks about those meat pies that she had when she was in Australia. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. See, there they go. Like dominoes. My husband does the mashed potatoes for our Thanksgiving. So we have to be there early enough to peel potatoes. We eat, we eat like at three o'clock though, so it's not too late because on my family, if you eat too late, like regular dinner time, nobody can eat dessert or anything. So we eat earlier in the day, earlier in the day instead of five o'clock. I could see that water coming down on my brush. I worked with a guy, his last name was Lynch. And we used to uh, sing the Grinch song with his name in it. Because he could be a bit grumpy. He could be a bit grumpy. Does anybody do a different kind of a, a filling or a stuffing? We call it stuffing. We do just um, a bread stuffing. But years ago, I worked with a gal whose mom did a potato stuffing, which I'm all about the potatoes. Oh, we keep our mashed in a crock pot too, Kath. It's a great idea, right? Years ago, we had, we would have, this is when I was younger. We would have turkey for Thanksgiving and then always had turkey for uh, Christmas as well. My mom hated that because the turkey was so much work. And um, so she switched it up when we got a little older so she could spend time with us. And she went to doing a roast. Doesn't really matter, right? The kids won't eat a bread stuffing? Oh, my gosh. Well, our son doesn't eat anything, but our daughter loves it. Yeah, the box stuffing is good. I know, right, Shannon? Oh, my gosh. I have to say, the meal that we make on New Year's Day is my favorite meal of the year. And that's, we do sauerkraut and pork. It's been so cold and windy here. My husband hasn't been able to spray the rest of the bulbs for me. Yeah, I've got to put his eyebrows on too at some point. But I want those eyelashes to dry before I start messing around with that. Come on, sit there and behave. My daughter loves ham as well, but she gets it at Easter. I mean, 
I don't think anybody in my family other than my daughter wants ham ever. Well, we, we, could, we would eat it, but I would never ask for it. And um, she says, ham. I find if I put my pinky down, then you can use your brush kind of like a pencil. It helps. The Chinese ones have spices, Jewish ones, salt, pepper, onion, and sometimes a little. Ooh, sounds good. Yeah, beets. I can live without the beets. No beets for me. When my dad was still alive and my mom was, of course, they were, you know, much younger. She would make a, uh, a dried bean. Dried lima beans. Oh, my gosh. I love those. My kids, I can never could get my kids to eat beans. I don't have an instant pot. I always wanted, um, Oh, what's that real expense? It's not an Instant Pot. At least I don't think it's... Um, you can make soup in it. Like you just throw your vegetables in there and you turn it on. It grinds them all up. And then the soup, it makes soup and it comes out hot. But that, this, they're like $500. You can, you can buy them. Well, you can buy them, I guess, anywhere. But I always sold them on QVC. What the heck is that called? I can't remember what it's called. It's like a big blender. It's like a um, heavy-duty, you know, blender. Yeah, Vitamix. Oh, Barb, I knew you would know it. Yes, Vitamix. That's what I always wanted. I always dreamt about going to a yard sale and finding a Vitamix for, for 20 bucks. Uh, his mouth got a little wonky. I'm going to take it off just because it's, you know, it's annoying me. Did I see rutabagas? Did somebody say something about her? Oh, there we go. Do you you do the beets the way Barbara and I do rutabagas? The way for Mel since he can't have a tail. My um when I was younger, my grandmother would make turnips. And I could eat those. I haven't had a turnip in years. turnips I can't even imagine getting my children to try a turnip <clears throat> I 
My sister, Nancy, that's who's hosting uh, Thanksgiving. She loves beets. And she um, likes, ah, she likes to buy them fresh and with this, you know, the greens still on them. And then she roasts them. But to me, they taste like dirt. I could eat them. I choose not to eat them. But I love lima beans. Oh, man, do I love lima beans. I haven't had a lima bean in a long time. Bye, love. Have a great holiday. It was good to see you. You do that too, Shannon? Maybe I should do the eye. Oh, there's an idea. I'll do the eye first. And then I don't have to worry about where I put my fingers. There we go. Hey, Teresa. I was telling the girls... I didn't get a very good nap today, and I needed a nap because you and Beth and Becca had me up all night. <laughs> I like them both, green and dried. If you're asking me about lima beans. Yeah, I like beans too. But my dad always had a big garden, and uh, he would grow the lima beans. So my sister Nancy, she would eat them raw, like when we were shucking them, but she didn't like them cooked. I could eat them raw, but, like, why, you know? I uh, really love them cooked. And my mom would make them where you cook them till they're soft and then pour off some of the the vegetable liquor, and then add milk and butter, salt and pepper. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I could go for that right now. Do, 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 do. You eat them now, not cooked? The other thing that I love, and gosh, we have a hard time finding it here. Um, do you know what I mean when I say a wax bean? It looks like a string bean, but it's yellow. Same thing. My mom would cook them till they were just to cook them. Well, she would put them in water just to cover, and then she would quarter, um, peel and quarter uh, potatoes. And throw them in the pot, and then cook them till they were tender. Oh, my goodness. I'm just having a hard time here. I'm talking too much. And um, I got to fix, I got to fix this makeup here. And then we would reserve, you know, most of that bean juice. And she'd put milk in there and warm it. And then um, she might have thickened it a little bit. I'm not sure. But then added butter, salt and pepper. I could eat that for days just for like just that. Nothing else. Just that. So when my sisters would come over here to Jersey to visit, or we'd have a sister's day or whatever. They stop at farmer's markets on the way. One time my uh, sister Nancy brought me a big bag of the wax beans. I guess things go out of popularity, you know, like anything else.
You eat mushrooms at least once a week. I like mushrooms. I like them stuffed. Do 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 da, 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 da. I should go get some of my <laughs> wax beans ick. <laughs> I love them. Well, I'm a potato face. See, it's got the potatoes in there. And it's just um it's just like, what's that French dish where they have tuna and the potatoes and something noir? Uh, string beans, oh, potato, string beans and a bite of um, a, a boiled potato with butter. Woo! Lori and try to eat my mushroom hand. Yes. Yes, we're always trying to get Angie's mushroom house. Years ago, my husband and I, we'd always heard about this restaurant in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania called the melting pot we wanted to go so it was us and i think two or three other couples and it's a restaurant that does um fondue and you can get you know different courses or just order your you can do whatever you want well first time we went we wanted to just do the whole thing Because we had never been. So everybody agreed. So we had a cheese course. Hey, Chris. And uh, it was cheese and bread. And they mixed, the, they, they set up the fondue at the table for you. And it had um, these, yes, there you go. Nissois, is that how they say it? Tuna Nissois? Oh my gosh. So good. And um, everything is done in the fondue pot. And they come, this little server comes, and they set it up for you. And, oh, gosh, I think I got, did I get lobster or shrimp? I forget what I got. But then everything, you know, you get a tempura, and you can dip your food in the tempura. It was good. It was great. It took you a long. It took you forever to eat, and then you could order a dessert, which of course they had all different kinds of chocolate fondue. You could do the white chocolate. They had one called a turtle, and they put nuts and caramel in it. They had one. I forget what it was called, but it had half dark chocolate, half milk chocolate. You know, and then they bring a tray of all the um, stuff. My screen looks good, Teresa. I don't know. Did you check your settings? Nobody else has said it's blurry. Oh, I should be at 720. Um, gosh, I hope it's not blurry. Chris, you're blurry too? Did it just blur for a minute? Is it is it back or is it still blurry? Yes, it's 720. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Hold on, let me. Is it still blurry? Still blurry, huh? Oh, it looks good. Let me see. Of course, I don't know what to do about it. Let me see. I'll go on YouTube here. And um, let 
Of course, I have to go through the ads. It's 7.20, but for my internet connection, it's okay. I don't get clear streaming all the time. So the bulbs on the left are blurry. I'm trying to get through the ads here so I can see. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Let me move my camera up. I don't know if that'll help. Oops. See if that is any better. Maybe because they don't. I have them laying, uh, sitting up. Maybe if I lay them down, you know, the camera will have something to focus on. Yeah, I think that. I think that's it, probably. Janice, I think you're right. Janice, I think you're probably a genius. All right, these guys are going to do the roly poly. Let me look, look what I did. Now, how in the world did I do that? I don't, I don't even know what that would be from. Oh, Chihuahua. Oh, Chihuahua. Let me see if I lay them down here. And then the camera can focus on the faces. Maybe it'll be better. We'll see if that's better, girls. Let me know. I can move them out of the, out of the screen area, too. Move your palette to the right for a second. Okay. Becca had trouble with what? Oh, yeah, I always have trouble with a white paper. That's what I'm trying to teach myself um, OBS and how to use that platform to see if I can eliminate some of the blurriness when I'm using white. Because a lot of what we do is on white paper. No, autofocus is off. Huh. Oh, yeah, I see. It's like really pixelating. I can go out and come back in, see if that works. I think I can do that. Let me try. If not, if not, it's going to be early night. It's going to be early night. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I don't want to end the broadcast. Let me let me take myself out, or just just hang in there a moment. Everything gets iffy. <laughs> okay, let me take my. I'm gonna. Okay, I'll I'll be right back. I hope.
Okay. I came out, I went out and I came back in. Right now, my phone, it looks clearer. So you have to let me know because if it continues, I'll just I'll just cut out and say good night. Better? It looks better to me. So hopefully, hopefully that you know did it. All right, I'm glad you said something. Clear. Okay, superb. Superb. All right, this is the last guy, I think. And then I just have to do the pupils and the um, eyebrows. Teresa, I've been wanting to get over to Walmart and see if I if they have any of those um, sets of pencils that you were talking about last night. I doubt mine does. They don't usually have anything good. There's one to my left. See, they look good to me. Are you saying blurry? Yeah, the Prismas. Of course, now that I joined that academy, I'm using the other pencils for the for different works. But I mean, I don't really need another Prisma pencil. I've got so many. But man, you can't beat that with a stick, girl. You you you. That was a steal. Teresa got a um. A set. It's I correct me if I'm wrong, but it's got a paper pad in it. It's got I think pencils to draw, and then it's got Prismacolor pencils. And oh yeah, for sure we love that stuff. And um, they're premier. They're premier pencils. She paid five dollars. Oh, wait a minute. I hear a little noise. Now I thought my dog was here wanting to go out, but she's not. Oh, They were in the clearance section. I know, $5. And I thought for sure they would be Scholar, which, you know, Scholar's not a bad pencil. But it's not, um, you know, it's not their best pencil. But then when Teresa was reading the description and she said soft core, I thought, oh, man, they must be Premier, because that's what the Premier are. They're the soft core. And sure enough. Sure enough, that's what she had. Oh, yeah, sharpener and eraser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, your set had pens. Okay. And the colored pencils. Yeah. Yeah, it was a steal. Bella, do you have to go out? Yeah, let me t let me put my little pooch out here, ladies. She's uh, she has some struggles. Our little bell, right, baby? So we want to make sure she goes out. Okay, come on. And you're you're wanting uh, you're gonna have to wait for you know the tr your little snack. Come have to wait. Let's go potty. Go ahead. Go watch for her. Give her a few minutes and then I'll let her in. Okay.
Okay, so let's see here. We're here an hour and a half. Let me just finish this one up. And then I'll show you how I finish them. Okay, Teresa. Now this one, it's really beaten up. Now the others haven't haven't uh, done that. Maybe I got my paint a little too. Then so then once I get these finished up, I will paint a sealer on top and let them dry. And I usually do that uh, before I put a hat on them. But I'll just show you. And then if you want, I can go grab a couple of my other bulbs, some of the different styles, just to show you if anybody's interested. I don't know if you're interested to see that or look, I did the mouth part before I did the eye. See, it just goes out of my brain. It's so much better if I do the eye first. So I think it was, I think it's Facebook. I'm not sure. Could it, no, I guess it, maybe it's YouTube. Okay, Teresa. Um, you know how the little videos come up and you can see somebody... Well, they're different, you know, they're different, they're unique, and, you know, you can make them the way that you want, and people seem to get a charge out of them. Um, let's see. The little videos come up, and you can watch somebody do a stir fry, or you might watch somebody, um, you know, I don't know if they call it a reel, but it's like a little clip. This, this gal came on. And it had a picture of her without makeup and then it had a picture of her with makeup. Now, she was a woman of dark skin, just looked like an average gal, okay? And she put the makeup on herself. I mean, you cannot believe the layers of makeup that she put on. She even put contact lenses in her eyes that gave her eye a different color. She pulled her hair straight back and kind of put it in a little bun. And then with shading, she gave herself like cheekbones. And oh my gosh, you cannot believe, first of all, the difference, but how beautiful. I mean, she's just a regular, regular chick like we are, you know. So I'm sitting there watching. I mean, I was so intrigued. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, how could how could I look if I did all this stuff? I mean, she gave herself eyebrows and she did it herself. Like I've face painted myself, okay? But this was this was unbelievable. I don't even know how you, you would find it. It's just amazing what she did. Okay. So I think let me get back to my picture. I just don't wanna. I know, right, Teresa? I'm like, oh my gosh. It was, so, it would be so worth it. I think, you know, the video was only like a half an hour, but I'm sure she's done this more than, more than one time. But, oh my gosh, it was just, it was just amazing. Okay, I'm looking for myself. There I am. Okay, so I just gave them big eyes. Okay. I don't know, Ange. If you looked at this video, I think you'd have 
you'd have a hope, babe. And I feel the same way about myself, no matter what I do. Well, I don't do it anymore, that's for sure. Okay, Teresa, you want to make a Grinch? If you're not going to spray um, the base coat on, I really recommend you just do one base coat at a time and let it dry for a good six to eight hours. Yes, I've seen you, Ange. What do you think? You look like Godzilla? A nice looking lady. And you're made in God's image, Ange. Hi, Devin. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Devin. This one, the eyeballs are, but you know what? He's He can be a little wacky looking. All right, let's just do one more. And then I'll get my little pooch in. She's not at the door yet. I gotta I gotta break down and throw out some of these crazy, crazy brushes I have instead of keeping them all. Goodness me. So you wanna let your base coats really if you if you can do the spray. To base coat. Yeah, right, Kathy. Don't be knocking his work. And you look fine. You just look like a normal person, okay? You may not look like uh, Sandra Bullock, but you're you're a normal person. You look fine. This one's too small. See, I got the small. Gotta get this other eyeball. Good enough. He's supposed to look like the mean one. So do you screw in the light bulb before you spray them? No. Well, no. No. These are light bulbs. Um, I used to have people collect them for me. Light bulbs that don't work. Because if you did screw them in, this all the, um, once it heated up, all the um, acrylic wood, I think, would just melt and peel off. Right? Um, and... Like, he'll have a hat on. I'll show you. He'll have a hat. So here's my, you weren't here, I don't think, Teresa. Here's my little, what did Pammy say it was called? Grow Grew, my little, uh, my little Yoda. See, so I'll have a hat on like this. And then I put a string on it to hang it. So they're not usable anymore. I want to put his eyebrows on. I'm not going to do the hairy ones. I'm just going to put on a. Uh, and half the time, the eyebrow I don't see with between the fluff and other stuff that I put on. No, I kept one for myself. I might have another one. Why? Does DD love Grow Grow? I can send her one. I think I have one. I, I, it took me a long time to paint him because I didn't have the confidence. Grow Grow, there she is. Pammy's still here. All right. Oh, she does? Okay, I'll have to send. I think I have one. 
I think I have another one. But this little guy was my favorite out of the ones that I made. So I kept him for myself. Okay, I'm going to let my... I need to paint a Groot. Groot? I don't know if I know Groot. Okay, I'm going to go let my pup in, and then I'm going to go grab a few other bulbs to show you a couple others, and then I'll show you how I put the hat on. Oh, there she is. Hers are waiting for me. I'm coming, though. I have to come in. Hey, baby, come on. She's a good puppy. She's a good puppy. Yes, you are. You're a good puppy. Oh, it's cold. Huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. So this was mostly what I would sell. The snowman. And then you know you can do it. You can do anything with them. That's a not so great Santa. See, this is one of the clear ones. So I didn't want to cover up because you can see the filament. So you don't really have to paint paint them. I just you know wrote Noel on this one and spattered. And then just decorated the top. So that's another idea. This is supposed to be a snowman, but people say he looks like a, a um, scarecrow. And this is just some felt. I cut a circle, you know, dropped it over the top and then wrapped the top of the bulb. But he's supposed to be my primitive snowman. Yeah, so I don't take them apart. See, they're just left whole. Oh, God, I can't find Arunda. Then I did some lady faces. 
this one I put sister on her cheek. I'm getting a real glare. You can see a glare. But I put feathers on her hat. And then I, you know, can put a name on it. Whatever. Her and then this one's one of the newer ones I did. Because unicorns were getting so popular. Just little felt ears. You know. So, okay. So now I need to get a highlight and I need to put the dots on his, on their, on his face. So let's see. Where do I have my daughter? Thanks. Thanks, Shannon. Um... I'm not going to worry about the white on this one. And these dots are going to take a while to dry. So, oh, thanks, Cassie. <laughs> thanks, Janice. A guardian of the galaxy. I'll have to look him up. I, I've done... Um, Somebody wanted the Mario Brothers, so I did the Mario Brothers. I think I still have pictures on my phone. I've done, um, somebody wanted Patrick, SpongeBob's friend. My paint's drying. All right, see, but you could basically you get the idea, right? So then when I first started to do these, I thought, well, what am I going to do about putting hats or dressing them? And I just couldn't see myself, you know, making a bunch of little hats. So I thought about socks. So what I do is I just take, so, you know, this is the end of a sock. And this has the elastic part. So, of course, these all still need work. And like I said, I put my sealer on it, let them dry. And, um, and then I usually dress them. So all I do is I just take the sock. You know, like this one. And then I take my hot glue gun and I, I get the hot glue all up under that little band and it just stays. I put it where I want it, you know. And then it just depends on how much sock I have left. Or I'll just pull that up. See, because now this is glued and I'll tie it. Right. Or um, let's see. But I, I mean, I would use any kind of sock, really. This is another one that's, you know, I use the one end of it. This is the toe end. So then I might pull this one down and just roll it up, glue it where I want it, and then just gather this, this up, give it a twist, and tie it. And then I decorate, you know, like, um, you know, I might put a bow or a pom-pom or jingle bells or a snowflake. You know, this is where I, earlier for my warm-up, these aren't dry yet because my room's chilly. You know, like a sports applique thing. I just cut that out. And, you know, when I put this hat on, we'll just glue the emblem right there. If I had a football buttons or soccer buttons, stars, you know, all different things. Yeah, I had gnomes. I did gnomes. And um, 
you know, they're very cute. They turned out really cute. And, um, but see, if, if I would do them for a craft event, I wanted to try to keep them in the price range where they'd all be the same. So I didn't like, you know, to add fake hair and all that jazz. That's just extra time and money. I'm sorry to say, but that's, that's how I have to look at it. So when I would do my gnomes, I just would bring the hat down, you know, this way. I wouldn't even have to do the eyes. You know, um, but you can do a ton of stuff. Now, if you go and you Google and you put in um, light bulb art or you put in light bulb ornament, you're going to see some pretty scary stuff. So don't let it discourage you. But there's also very cute things like this one. I just found this one. Not that I'm, I'm, I'm really, I really don't have time to do them anymore. But look how cute this one is. Now that's a very simple eye. They're just black kind of like ovals. This one, they don't have the hat, the sock pulled down. Little felt ears. It's adorable. And then you can get your Posca pen and write on the back if you give it to someone um, special, like a first Christmas. Like I've done baby's first Christmas ones. I had one couple buy a baby's first Christmas. Yeah, I never tried um, combing out the yarn. Oh, hi, Judy. But see, here's here's the other thing. And I'm just I'm just being honest with you for me. One season I painted and sold like four to five hundred bulbs. So I painted, I had to paint those. So when you're painting four or five hundred bulbs a season, you know, and you've got six craft shows to do and you've got three or four other venues that are selling your bulbs it's a lot so if you're making them for your family you can you know you can go to town and do as much as you want with them but for me and what I was doing I just needed them to look as cute as they could look and I needed to crank them out as fast as I could crank them I mean, I got to the point where I didn't have enough bulbs. People were saving me their old bulbs, but I just didn't have enough. I had to order, we ordered 600 bulbs. So I would have something to paint on. You know, it's, I had to get out of that. <laughs> I had to get out of it. And um, I did enjoy doing them when I did them. But now I, I really want to do my um, color pencil work and, um, you know, just as all of us, I think, you know, we, um, well, that's true too, Kathy. I, I sold them, I think, at a very fair price. I'm, I'm charging a little more for them now than what I used to charge. I'm not charged. I don't charge as much as what if you find them on the Internet and people are selling them through their Etsy shop. They want 14 or 15 dollars for them, and they're probably getting it on Etsy. Um, but. Uh, let me see if I still have some. Pictures. I know I just deleted a lot of stuff. But like anything in the arts and craft, once you get into, I think, the art end of it, you know, you probably can get a little more for what you do. But in the, when the, if you're a crafter, 
you 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 do it because you love it. You don't do it because you're going to you know make a lot of money. And um, we all know that. But it, but by the same token, then when you're mass producing stuff, you have to be um, a little frugal with. Now here's see here's a a, a Halloween rock I painted. And, you know, these turn out really great, too. But see, I put the um, I put the jazz on it, you know, to make it shiny. Uh, what do they call it? They don't call it jazz. <sighs> epoxy. They don't call it epoxy either. There's a little snowman. See, three little pom-poms. And it's just enough to really make it cute. Oh, here, here you go. There's my Mario Brother ones. Oh, that's a gourd. They're gourds. There's more of the unicorns. See, this is my desk area here. See, and then I would just hang them so they would dry. Yeah, right, Ange? Yeah. I keep shadow. Well, it's semi keep shadow trouble. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this is my girlfriend. Oh, there's there's Patrick. I didn't think I had a picture of Patrick. Here's my little babies. Batman. Do, 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 and the other thing too, like um, one of the girls was saying all the different things to make, like uh, Teresa was saying Groot, and I think Janice had suggested a couple of ones. But see, you never know what people want. So when I was doing the shows, I had to make um, you know what the majority would purchase. There's my, because um, then you don't sell them. Like I had people wanting, um, oh, I made some with masks when COVID started. I had people wanting like a cowboy or a, um, a firefighter. Or, but, you know, I didn't have a lot of requests for that. So if I made a half a dozen firefighters, you know what? I'd still have, yes, resin. Thank you, Judy. I'd still have five of them because I only ever had one person ask me for a firefighter. And same with the cowboy. So that's just the part, that's just a little part of my story and my, my history of my, um, my light bulb bart so that's what i said i should have told this gal no but i'm i'm a soft i'm a soft touch i'm a soft touch i'm a soft i'm a soft touched touch and i think i am touched to some degree so that's really all i was planning to do tonight i got a good start on these so i thank you for um putting up with me so I just have to do some pupils here and get the little highlight in and uh, I can probably get these finished up tomorrow well maybe not I go to I have to go to the dentist tomorrow well we'll see but then once my hubby gets the rest of them see I've got most of this um, I got a deadline she needs them by December 3rd and my sister needs the ones she wants by the December 3rd and um, so I should be able to hit that deadline, which will be good. We'll reuse taglines on ones that are ones. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> it's just that, you know, you can't make. You can't possibly make everything any any one person 
would want. I mean, it's just impossible, you know, and um, I'm not a Grinch person, you know, I, um, I, I didn't make Grinch when I first started. And one of the girls in the co-op said to me, are you going to do any of the Grinch? And I said, you know what? I didn't even think about the Grinch. And she's like, he's really popular, you know, and he's one of my better bestsellers, him and the snowmen. They're the, they're the ones that most people, um, you know, would want. And then of course, at a show, I would offer to put somebody's name on. Thanks, Devin. I'm getting ready to cut out of here too. I'm going to go, um, I got a new coloring book, so I've been anxious to get get started in my new coloring book. Well, thanks for being here, ladies. I appreciate it very, very much. And uh, Kimberly Ray, if you watch this on the replay, I think I can find you. I know I friended you on Instagram, but... I'm not sure. I, I looked at one Kimberly Ray, but I'm not sure I got I have the right one. So I don't think I will see you all until the end of the week on Friday. So have a great Thanksgiving holiday if you celebrate. Have a good rest of the week. Remember our dear Mary. I'm pretty sure she did have her surgery today. So, uh, and, and remember a little Emerson, please. She's still on the mend. And, um, well, you know, there's, there's others in our, in our group here that, you know, if you think about them, just, you know, send uh, special messages their way. And so we can lift each other up. So have a great time with your families if you're getting to spend with your family. If not, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your day. And I hope to see you all soon. I'm not going to go over schedules because my brain is fried. And I don't remember who's doing what tomorrow. I just don't. So have a great rest of your evening. And I will see you soon. Take care. And don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.